Darling you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I applied these eyelashes that I'm wearing. We all know that applying eyelashes can be a nightmare, especially when you're running out the door on a night out and they just will not stick. So in this video I really want to help those of you who struggle with applying lashes or even maybe some beginners that are watching my channel that want to start wearing them and just show you the easy techniques that I find work really well for me when applying eyelashes. There is a few things that you can do to make the application smoother and quicker and just the whole experience a bit nicer so let's jump right into the video okay so first off what you'll need you'll obviously need a pair of lashes today I'm going to be using the Eyelure Lux in opulent I really like this style and how they feel so I opted for them today next you'll need some glue I'm going to use the one that came in the box today this is just the Eyelure one as well which I actually find really good but another one that I'd recommend is the duo glue and um, especially if you're starting to wear lashes more often now because that's a bigger size and it just lasts longer I find but both are very good next thing you'll need is a tweezers this just makes your life so much easier when applying lashes just let you be more precise with where you're placing them I'm gonna poke myself the eye now um, but yeah no it's very good especially if you have long nails I just find it makes the process smoother and it makes the application time quicker and yeah I would just recommend to use the tweezers if you can and lastly, you might need a scissors if the lashes are too big or if they're too long for your eye. Most of the time you might need to cut them, so if you're about to apply some lashes, just have a scissors handy. Okay, moving on to the application. The first thing I always do is apply some mascara. I've actually already applied mine now. I just use the They're Real by Benefit. But the reason I'm doing it beforehand is because if you put the mascara on the false lashes, it will damage them slightly or kind of shorten their life, if that makes sense. Um, basically, you won't be able to use them as many times because they'll kind of get dirty and, you know, grubby. Um, so yeah, try and apply the mascara first. And by doing that, it just helps your natural lashes to blend into the other lashes and they don't look like kind of two separate the next thing I want to do is measure the lash to see if I need to cut it as I said I may need to so to do that I just place the lash looking down on my lash line don't close your eyes because that'll make them smaller and then I just see if they fit or if I need to cut them these ones look okay I think I might just need to cut a teeny teeny bit so I always then just get my scissors and cut from the outside, not the inside. Because if the lashes are tapered like these ones, they'll be shorter in the inside. So therefore, if you cut them, the long ones will look just a bit odd in the inner corner. So always cut from the outside. And then make sure to do it with the other eye as well, because sometimes one eye can be smaller than the other. And um, you never know. So just try not to skip that step. And it's just the same thing again. This one I need to cut as well. There's a tiny bit off the end. Um, this is a very important step because if the lashes are too long they will not sit properly and they will end up lifting or falling off. The next thing you're going to do is put some glue on your lashes. This one's actually quite handy because it has a little brush on it. I basically just get my lash and just paint the glue on the inner part of the strip. I put a generous amount on but not too much. Just cover the strip completely and then this brings us to one of the most important parts leave the glue dry for about 30 seconds so don't just slap it right on because it will slide and slip and it just will be so hard to get into place so leave the glue dry and just get a little bit tacky for as I said about 30 seconds and that will just make your life so much easier because it will kind of sit straight away but it will still let you maneuver the lash into place and um, so yeah try and do that if you have time and then once the 30 seconds are up I just get my tweezers again Hold the lash in the middle of the strip and then I just simply place it on by looking down again. So I place it right in the middle and as you can see there it's stuck but I still have time to place it where it feels comfortable. So I do the inner corner first by placing that down and then I do the outer corner. The inner corner can definitely be the trickiest part of the whole lash to stick in because if you get watery eyes like me, it tends to kind of lift it and slide it around. So just make sure you have plenty of glue on that area and really push it in and make sure that it's secure before you leave the house or it will drive you mad for the night. So yeah, you can even use the back of your tweezers and just really push that into the corner and make sure that it's stuck on. And there you have it, lash one is on and I'm just going to do the exact same process with the other lash. The two eyelashes are on now completely. The only thing you might have to do now is go over your liner if any of the white glue maybe dried a bit weird. It usually dries clear but just it's good to go over it sometimes just to make sure the band is completely covered. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm just getting my Kat Von D liner. This one is actually very good, it's very black band but you can definitely get ones that aren't as good at disguising themselves so just make sure to go over with the liner again and that'll make sure everything is nice and disguised. 
And there you go guys, that is it. That's exactly how I apply my lashes. And um, that is a step-by-step -step process I go with every time. And usually it always works and never fails me. Obviously there is every now and again that they go a bit AWIR on me and it's a drama. But this little technique that I've kind of learned over the years really works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you as well. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as usual and subscribe as well if you're new to my channel. I'd love for you to stick around. And yes, that is it for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye.